What's up table test nerds? Welcome back to the Limitless channel. This is Roto 1550 TTR week 22 part 2. Training in Mittelbach here again with Noah and yeah, playing some exercises for the grip switch and for more power in my topspin strokes. So I start with the backhand topspin from the backhand set and then I have to switch to forehand which trains the grip switch which you have huge trouble with in game. And um, yeah, then we play some sets. I think still Noah should work on his on his footwork a lot because his strokes are getting better. And but also he uses uh, a lot of strokes, a lot of different strokes, and he, sh he should focus more on the basics. But it's I mean it's just his personality. It's okay. But the footwork that's something he should fix 100%. Then Nicholas here, he's pretty much the opposite. He has a solid solid basics, pretty. Uh, straightforward game, uh, pretty much straightforward, and um, yeah, for him, I think he just needs to ramp up his, his training time. If you think about it, it's crazy. I'm three times as old as them, and I train three times as much. But yeah, it's what it is. I mean, you have priorities, and um, yeah, if I want it, if I do something, I always want to want to do it well, <laughs> get good at it as soon as possible. That's just my nature. And um, yeah, then Amelie again. We played some exercises as well. And this is one I filmed. It's um, first op openers from the backhand after my forehand backspin serve, and then openers from the forehand. And then it's free play. And yeah, overall, I more and more know what to work on myself because I just can feel it, I can put the puzzle together a little more and also playing with the with the better players like the 1700s to 2000s TTR point people I train sometimes. Uh, I see what they do better than me or what they exploit in, in my game. And that gives me also a good idea of what to work on. And it's many things, but uh, some of them clearly it's just Repetition, repetition, so getting the reps in. Other things are just like ridiculous things like when I do a good stroke, when I hit a good stroke, I'm, I'm just looking. I'm like, wow, this was good. And then <laughs> my eyes just stay on, okay, what's happening now after this good stroke? And when the ball comes back, I, I freeze. Doing that, I freeze a little bit. And even a split second, if you freeze and you have a good opponent and they block back fast or something, you, you're lost. Uh, finally, Matthias is back again from Japan and China, his trip, and we can work again, that's great. And uh, we played some basic exercises and then I started recording here when we played three-point exercise. So backhand, middle, forehand, middle, backhand and so on. And yeah, he always tells me super valuable things I have to keep in mind. And also it's just so cool to train in this... In this um, epic epic uh, facility there and as you can see we're training on the on the official olympics table because obviously they have 12 of them lined up there and uh, just one day ago the, some of the olympic teams were just training there really cool the national teams and yeah i mean some things it's just like i have the feeling now of um, Getting to the next stage is just repetition, 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 pulling the work in. But other things are just like fixing errors. And here, before we, with the backspin here, with the opening for an opener to, to backspin, Matthias was very critical again and explained me, explained me some things. And I didn't have his guidance for like five weeks now, almost. Uh, almost five full weeks, yes. And um, I think I did a good job on my own getting better but some things it's just like you just have to hear it from experienced people until you reach a certain level at least I know that as a coach myself in Jiu Jitsu so it's just how it is and especially in the stage I am right now I need to take the advice and just yeah work <laughs> and here it's very very interesting it's to establish small steps in my footwork and it's why Matthias is playing me from one corner of the table to another and then back and I have to adjust with small steps 
and it's a very good habit to use small steps in table tennis in the footwork. Also, staying low, and it's so hard to stay low, and then you think you're low and you film yourself, you watch it at home, and you're like, holy heck, I'm super high up, and I thought I'm low. And um, then we did some, some backhand openers. Same thing here, but it's just, it, it's just easier for me, as I say all the time, than forehand. And also here it's a touch, a touch on the ball, and you, you need to, I need to put the touch on the ball. And my, my move has to be long enough, the contact time with the ball. And also using the body is very important. As you can see, a little bit of body movement from down to up, I put in, into the stroke against backspin. And then here, super, super cool exercise. First, first one against backspin and then, bam, powerful second attack. And yeah, these are things that in game, it's very hard for me still to, to play like this. Like all, because you have to be positioned right, you have to be ready, you have to anticipate a little bit where the ball is coming to, to play like this. But yeah, it's just, just how it is. It's, it's just uh, what's going on when you're a beginner and then trying to get better. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and see you soon.